AMC went through a monstrous rally today. It is no surprise we've been covering it on this channel, but I do want to go over two other very important things. I cannot underestimate these, and we are going to look at these two articles. It says how GameStop and AMC stock could be a market hedge. Basically, when the stock market goes down, you could hedge your overall portfolio with AMC and GameStop. And this actually has some factual information that you guys should be made aware about. This is also pretty much the double-edged sword effect I have been talking about that will ultimately, in my opinion, squeeze out the last shorts of AMC stock. Essentially, obviously, when the market goes down, AMC goes up, squeezing out those shorts. That is the double-edged sword effect but let's also talk about this article why rising inflation is great news for amc entertainment stock i think both of these have some great points and just disconsider the fact this is by the motley fool because i think there's a lot of good facts in this article that you guys should be made aware about especially because we get job job data coming on Friday and inflation numbers coming on Friday. So this could ultimately be very important for AMC stock. So let's get into it, guys. Drop that like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell so you'll be notified every time a new video is uploaded. Now, let's first off start with how GameStop and AMC stock could be a market hedge. <clears throat> now, corrections are a feature, not a flaw of the markets. Today, Wall Street memes discusses how AMC and GameStop stock could potentially be used as a hedge against market weakness. Now, uh, basically, it goes on to say that 15 months we've been dealing with the Roni Roni and when will stocks finally lose their steam? Now, hedging against such risk or at least being prepared for a pullback is generally a good idea. Today, Wall Street Memes explores an unorthodox hedging approach that involves GameStop and AMC. So understanding beta, and this is the factual data behind what is going on and what they are talking about. So beta is a coefficient that measures the price behavior of a security relative to the overall market. In other words, it is a historical indicator of how much an asset's value will likely rise or fall given the market's performance. Beta equal to one means that the security is tightly associated with the market. Should one climb or fall 10%, for an example, the other likely will as well. Beta above one means market volatility means above market volatility, while beta below zero suggests an inverse correlation with the market. Negative beta assets have one key benefit. They can serve as a portfolio hedge by often zigging when the market is zagging. However, within the stock market, it is a very it is very rare to find shares with negative beta. At times, gold miners can be an exception. Outside stocks, treasuries are often inversely correlated with equities, as we do know. Now, all of GameStop's peers, different stocks that are like GameStop, all have a positive beta. So that is pretty much telling you that it will correlate with the markets. Now, obviously, GameStop at a negative 6.8% beta that means it's going to inverse the market so eventually when the markets do start to come down which i think like i already said will be one of the things that drives the last shorts of amc stock once we're multi thousand dollars multi hundred dollar price points i don't know where the price point is going to be but ultimately drive them and make those big shorts cover on their short positions now amc also has a negative beta negative 4.2 the table below shows that this is a uh, this is a feature of AMC specifically, probably due to its meme stock status and the unique forces that move the share price and not at all something that is shared across the entertainment sector. As you guys can see, just like GameStop, all of these other stocks have a positive beta and AMC has a negative 4.16 beta. So you can essentially use them as a hedge. That is the running theory. Now, a, uh, uh, GameStop and AMC as a hedge. It is reasonable to expect that any market correction scenario caused by microeconomic, macroeconomic factors, excuse me, investors would seek alternative forms of investment. In the case of AMC and GameStop, price action has been largely determined by supply and demand dynamics, not so much by business fundamentals. Then why... Why not park some money in these two stocks when the market and the economy weaken? Investing in AMC and GameStop stocks might be one way to ride positive ape sentiment and sidestep a fundamental driven market pullback. Of course, putting money in meme stocks brings its own set of risk, but being exposed to broad market bearishness might not be one of them. 
Twitter speaks. Yeah, they basically did a poll, and that is all you guys need to know from that. Just validating the whole negative beta thesis that we have been talking about for quite a while here on YouTube and on Twitter. Now, rising why rising inflation is great news for AMC Entertainment stocks. The theater chain can raise prices for goods and services without losing too many customers, if losing any at all. Now, key points. Higher consumer prices can help offset high fixed expenses. Expenses, excuse me. The BLS reporter cus- consumer prices rose by four, 5.4% in the last 12 months. I cannot read today, so my apologies. AMC stock price is up nearly 2,000% this year. So it says, inflation is a consist term representing the measurement of price changes over time. The Rony Rona pandemic caused mass disruption in the supply chains and changed customer behavior affecting prices. Those changes have been felt over the past 18 months in the prices that people may pay for many products and services. The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported that prices for all consumer goods rose on average by 5.4% over the last 12 months because it's an average prices for some items may have increased more than others. For business with a high level of fixed costs, raising prices can actually be a good thing. Most of their costs stay the same, fixed. While they can start to raise their prices on the products or services they are selling, and because price increases are felt broadly, they are less likely to lose customers when they increase their prices, which we have seen with AMC raising the average ticket ticket prices by about 50 cents. That is going to add up to millions of dollars on their earnings report. So definitely a bullish situation for AMC all around. Now, that's a scenario AMC Entertainment finds itself in. The company has high fixed costs, and those costs will remain steady while it can start to raise price on its products and services. Customers don't seem to mind the higher prices yet. AMC's fixed costs were burdensome during the pandemic when businesses came to a halt. Now that nearly all of its theaters are open and viewers are coming back, it can reap some benefits from its fixed cost base. The bulk of AMC's fixed costs are in the form of rent and interest expenses over the last six months. They totaled $398 million and $240 million, respectively. AMC management has likely observed rising customer prices and thought it, it is wise to raise their own prices as well. Indeed, CEO Adam Aaron said this during the company's most recent conference call. They've also noticed that there appeared to be little price resistance to the increased prices currently being charged at our U.S. theaters. So just last week, we imposed an approximate 5% admissions ticket price increase at many of our U.S. theaters. Already increasing prices are showing up in the company's results. Average ticket price in the last six months of 2021 increased to $10.48 from $9.39 last year. The revenue boost it provides will go some way toward helping the company recover from the devastating effects that Rony Rona had on its business. Investor takeaway. Now, still the company has a long road ahead to recovery. While, while helpful in rising price conditions, the fixed expansions expenses mentioned above are burdensome unless revenue can outpace them. Granted, the company is still operating in a limited capacity and somewhat constrained by the pandemic, but revenues in the last six months was $593 million. That's less than the $638 million that was needed for rent and interest expenses. So they are almost at that point, they are breaking even and potentially turning a profit here, like they said, by the end of this year, if not the first quarter of 2022. Two, AMC is headed in the right direction as more people are vaccinated and studios bringing blockbusters back to the big screen. The theater chain might again reach revenue levels not seen since before the outbreak. It will certainly be assisted in the path if, if consumer prices continue to rise. And then it basically gives their own opinion on should you invest in AMC stock. I'm just going to read it. It's a little bit on the bearish side, but while it would be good news for the stock, it needs much more to make it a good value investment. As we do know, AMC is not a value investment. You're not buying the company at its real value. You're buying it slightly above its real value. You can make that argument like we have on this channel that AMC could be valued in between about $25 and even $35 in my opinion. Now, it says the stock price is up nearly 2,000% this year ahead of the company's recovery from the pandemic. That means most, if not all, the company's growth prospects over the next several years are already priced into the stock. If you're interested in buying the stock, it would be prudent to wait for a significant pullback in the share price or a substantial improvement in its operating performance. Now, they are improving their operating performance, but this is ultimately a short squeeze trade, so it doesn't matter about the fundamentals as much as you would think. Yes, that is good because that just 
raises your your bottom, right? Your worst case scenario. If a stock on book value is worth $30, it's trading at 50, we're close to 50 right now. Pretty much your worst case scenario is going to be about $30 per share. So obviously, worst case scenario, in my opinion, on AMC stock is about $30, even $35 per share when the dust does settle. But we have a short squeeze first before we talk about the dust settling whatsoever. So drop that like on the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, all of that good stuff. You guys already know the deal. Also, check out the four links linked down below in the description. There is a free AMC Discord chat. Definitely highly recommend you guys jump over there there is also a link for the buy and sellers we have been killing it with a lot of casino trades recently hitting one for over 200 percent another one up about 75 percent as we do currently speak we've been taking profits on a lot of trades as well now, there's also a link down below for public. You get up to $70 in your choice free stock. It only takes about three minutes time to receive your free stock and to open your account. So it is very fast. You get anywhere in between about $10 on the lower end to about $65 on the higher end. You get to choose your free stock out of about 20 different choices. So definitely check that out if you guys have not already. They do not use payment for order flow. Also, check out the link down below for Weeble. Get up to $100 or get up to $2,400 in free stock when you use the link and deposit a hundred dollars and fund your brand new Weeble account. Now they do use payment for order flow, not as much as Robinhood, but they have a setting in Weeble where you can turn off the availability for Weeble to lend your shares out to other hedge funds, institutions, market makers, brokers, whoever they are. So definitely check that link out as well. Now, I just want to say thank you guys for all the support on the channel. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. So that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.